Russia has confirmed a new prime minister after the lower house of parliament approved Vladimir Putin's choice for the job and the president formally appointed him. Mikhail Mishustin was head of the country's federal tax service. He was put forward as Putin's choice for prime minister after Dmitry Medvedev and his entire government resigned on Wednesday. In a State of the Nation address, President Putin had called for political reform, giving more power to the parliament. There's speculation that Putin will take on a new role when his current presidential term ends in 2024. And DW's Emily Sherwin is standing by for us in Moscow with more. Hi, Emily. So as we saw there, Mishustin has been confirmed as a prime minister, but this was largely expected, wasn't it? Well, absolutely. Putin had kind of uh, suggested him as a candidate yesterday. The Duma had to approve um, that suggestion today. And that approval is essentially a mere formality. Uh, today, uh, Mishustin's candidacy um, or uh, passed with a huge majority. In fact, no one voted against him. Uh, there were some abstentions. Um, it's interesting now, however, to see um, what the cabinet will be that Mishustin will propose. Um, he said that he would do that. Um, in the coming days, he'll uh, present to Vladimir Putin a list of the potential ministers um, who might take on roles in the government. These are uh, huge changes, and uh, we took to the streets of Moscow to find out um, what people think of all these changes in government and also of the changes proposed by Vladimir Putin. Let's take a look. I think it was time for Medvedev to retire. The political system was stagnant, and people want something new now, new decisions, some kind of renewal. I think President Putin made the right decision when he shook everything up. I don't know, but I trust Putin to make the right decisions. Good on him. I doubt anything will change. Maybe in more civilized countries or states, when this kind of thing happens, people do expect change and for things to get better, but not here. All right, Emily, so some mixed voices on the streets there. Uh, can you tell us more about who the new prime minister is and why he was selected by Vladimir Putin for this job? Well, Mikhail Mishustin has been in government service for many, many years, and he's been the head of the federal tax service here in Russia since 2010. Apparently, he has the reputation of a good manager, of an efficient uh, civil servant, a bureaucrat more than a politician, and someone to get the job done. Now, Putin yesterday announced huge economic and social reforms, uh, along with the constitutional reforms that he announced. So um, when it comes to internal policy, perhaps he he just wants someone who will get the job done. And um, he, uh, Mishustin is a political unknown, so no one will think that he could be a potential uh, successor to Putin. He's not a political threat in that way. He, he is, however, someone known um, to modernize things and to digitalize things as well. Emily, you said it yourself, these are big changes underway in Russia, you know, political shakeup in the government, also constitutional changes. What is behind all of this? Well, Mishustin became prime minister because Medvedev resigned yesterday um, following Vladimir Putin's speech um, to the nation, um, where he announced sweeping constitutional changes, including um, changes that would strengthen um, the parliament, both houses of the parliament, and weaken the role of the president. He also announced, uh, proposed, rather, changes that could strengthen the role of the regional governors um, around Russia, so kind of decentralized things in Russia uh, a bit. Um, people will have to vote, apparently, on these changes. Um, in some way, Vladimir Putin and all of these changes that we're seeing are, des are satisfying um, a, a desire amongst Russian people for change. There was a real sense of stagnation here in Russia um, up until yesterday, essentially. Um, but the main goal, observers say, is that Putin is paving the way for his own political future. Putin's <laughs> term, a current term as president, ends in 2024. Um, he can't run again. So perhaps this is him kind of uh, potentially creating a new job for himself within a new political system uh, mm -hmm. in the future. All right. Our correspondent, Emily Sherwin in Moscow. Thank you.